Hey y'all, Sai here. So I've been wanting to make a sign for Sisters, which is a little city that's right next to Prineville. And they have these three mountains that are called the Sisters. And they actually have names called Faith, Hope, and Charity. Um, but I wanted to design a sign with their little mountains. So I'm gonna try to do that. Or their big mountains. So here's what I have. I have sisters and then I cut out just some mountain shapes and I kind of, uh, I tape them together of how they're situated, which is like three of them. And then some foresty area. And I'm gonna put it on this piece of alder that we have. I thought that would be cool. And I think what I'll do is I'll just um, glue it down to this board, stuff like that. I'm gonna use this Loctite, which I haven't been a fan of lately, because it's the high performance stuff and it just is sticky as all get out. I like the multi-purpose better. It's not as crazy sticky. But I'm gonna be sanding it a lot, so I don't care if it sticks to the wood too much. Yep. So now I gotta wait 10 minutes. You know what? I'm gonna flip this piece of wood over and utilize this knot here as like a sun. And okay, now since this is gonna be the sun, then these shadows are right, but this shadow is wrong. So I need to just move this shadow to the other side. There. Okay. Well, time to get going. Before I start with the router, I want to talk about these ear protectors. It's from Pro for Show, and they sent me a pair and they wanted me to check them out. They're supposed to be lightweight and they fold up so they're compact and all that stuff. So I'm trying it out. And they gave me a coupon code for 10% off. So if you want to buy a pair of these, then check the description box below and get 10% off on a pair of these. And Protect Life has me trying out these foldable dust masks. And they also gave me a coupon code. So check out the description box below for the coupon codes. I guess I should put it on properly. There, all protected. Okay, I'm using this profile bit. The bit is sticking out just a wee bit, about 45 millimeters or so. I traced around all of the mountains, and then all of the trees, and then the letters. Then I extended the profile bit out a little bit more, and I went back over everything I had already traced and outlined. I drew some lines to mark some boundaries, then I routed that. I wish I hadn't routed right here over the word because I had to go back and fix that later. Then I used a round nose bit and filled in all the areas where I wanted it to be black within the outline, which was the shadows on the mountains and the trees and all around the lettering.
I'm gluing up that crack that was at the bottom. I don't know if it'll hold or not, but we'll see. So far it has been holding, but after I trim the sides of the sign, which you will see later, not very much of the craft area was left, but I'm still glad I glued it. I went back over with a chisel to remove any high spots, and I usually don't find them all until I sand away the paint, but I try to get them all before painting. Then trim the sides, and this is where most of that cracked and glued area tri was trimmed away. The corners are square, but the bottom has some character. Then I took it outside and sprayed black primer in the areas that I wanted it to be black. And when that was dry, I used 60 grit to remove the black off the top level. I added my logo to the back and a verse, and the verse is Psalm 92, and it mentions mountains. It says, before the mountains were born, and before you created the earth and the world, you are God. You have always been, and you will always be. And I thought that was pretty cool. Then I flipped it back over and used a sharpie to black it up the sanded areas that I wanted to be black. Wally was following me around and wanted to sit with me for a while, so he sat in my lap while I sanded a few areas. I'm going to put some polyurethane on this, starting with the back. I forget to spray the back all the time, so I'm starting with the back on this one. And after about 30 minutes, I flipped it over and sprayed the front. Well, the sister sign is all done. And um, somebody recommended that I just leave the sanded marks because it looks like light shining through the trees. And so I did that this time and hopefully that's what it looks like. Sisters is a little town right next to Primeville and Bend and Central Oregon there. And they have these three pretty mountains that are right there. And so this is supposed to be that. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Oregon and there's really cool mountains here called the Pre-Sisters and so they're right here. Right.